daughter and mother of a six and a half year old girl, and yes, it's true. I have never used a timeout or a punishment or a punitive consequence to discipline my daughter, and I don't, in fact, have a wild, bratty, or disrespectful child. In fact, she's a pretty darn cool kid, um, and the only thing that is wild about her is her last name and her hair, which she rarely lets me brush. But besides the point. Um, if you're new here, I created Teach Through Love to be a comprehensive online learning resource for parents, teachers, child care workers, and really anyone who wants to learn about conscious parenting and education and non-punitive discipline. So I'm super excited to be offering this brand new back to school series. It's been over a year since my last live online class and I really can't wait to bring you another webinar series with four new um, interactive learning modules and two Q&A support calls with all of the money back guarantee. So the best thing about online learning is that in a virtual classroom, you can really attend the sessions at your convenience. If you miss a class, you can view the full webinar later or download the audio and listen to at your convenience on your way to work or while you clean the house, which is how I like to listen to my online learning. Um, it takes, but what it does is it takes the stress out of having to remember to attend or make time to leave the house, get a sitter. All of those things are taken care of for you in online learning. So let's talk a little bit about this series. Um, most people who have started down the conscious parenting road at one point or another say to me, okay, I get the logic of this, I understand the theory, but I still have no idea what to say. Now you're in a difficult spot because once you understand the principles, it's really hard to go back to your old ways of parenting, and yet sometimes you can find yourself at a loss for what to say or what to do. And that's why I created this brand new series, to take the most common parenting challenges that all parents face at one time or another, because I know I have, and present to you four interactive lessons to give you specific tips, tools, and ways to handle language, self-regulation, and all of the most common behavioral challenges so that you can start to communicate without creating resistance and cultivate habits of listening receptively, break habits of reactive listening in the whole family, not just in your child, but in yourself, in your partner, so that you can finally wake up and not dread getting out of bed to face the kids. So every Wednesday, starting September 5th through the 26th, we'll meet in our virtual classroom at 10 a.m. Pacific Time, 1 p.m. Eastern, for about an hour for an interactive presentation, discussion, and activities. And then on Thursday night, September 13th and 20th, we will meet at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern, for a one-hour support call so that we can discuss how it's going in your home. And remember, if you can't make the live calls, don't worry. You can send in your questions to be answered by me during class, and all of the classes are recorded for you to listen to later. Now, if you're new to conscious parenting, I don't want you to worry because I have included a ton of extra bonuses, and they're all at the bottom of this page. These are going to be a great primer for you to learn the basics of conscious parenting. I've included the ABCs of conscious parenting, which is an audio seminar and companion ebook, the Stress Proof Your Kids class, where you can learn about the biology of stress and what kid stress looks like, because it might be a little bit different than what you're thinking or what you're used to, and then the Myth Busting class, so that we can clear up any misperceptions about this being permissive or helicopter parenting. And speaking of myths, by far the most asked question I hear from parents who are new to my classes is, what do you mean no consequences, right? How does this work? How are they ever going to learn that there are consequences to their actions? And let me just say that consequences are natural to life. They don't need to be artificially imposed because we experience consequences naturally as the result of our actions. If, if for example, if we're cruel to a friend, they may not want to speak with us anymore. Likewise, a child who speaks harshly will get to experience the reactions of others around him if we give him the chance. He will see that displeasure that follows. So we have to ask ourselves, do we need to isolate, criticize, or shame him further? Is punishment really helping him, or is it just relieving our own fears of what might happen through a perceived sense of control? So we really need to look at harsh or punitive measures and decide, do they really remind kids not to make those same mistakes, or are they just making us feel better? And even more than that, are we sure that they are learning the lessons that we are intending, or are they just learning to avoid us and our lectures, advice, or punishments? So when what they really need is advice and support and constructive quality feedback, are we able to give our kids something besides our judgments, our opinions, and our evaluations? Okay, so you can see that I'm not against kids experiencing consequences, and I'm never against taking away things that are unsafe. But I am against parents using their love, attention, privileges, or things as pawns in a game of I'm right and you're wrong. I want to move beyond right and wrong to learn about what kids are feeling and needing because when we know what kids are feeling and needing, then we know what's driving behavior and then we can help a child far more than if we simply focus on stopping his behavior. 
So when we talk about behaviors, we need conflict. I'm right, you're wrong, and we run around putting out behavioral fires, trying to stop our kids from doing things over and over and over again. But when we actually talk about feelings and needs, we can go somewhere else. We can go to a place where tolerance and understanding and compassion can shift defiance, aggression, inflexibility, all of those challenges that we have. So I promise you, if you come along on this month-long journey, I will show you how to shift your perspective from a behavioral view of discipline, which promises short-term benefits but with long-term costs, to a developmental view where relationship takes precedence over controlling the outcomes. And I know that you will find that it leads you to a more rewarding and mutually beneficial experience with your child, where you're not just managing behaviors, but you're actually enjoying the process of creating a relationship with your child, which is really what parenting is all about. So just click below this video to read more about the class and then I will hope to see you on September 5th.